but that's okay. We have so much to look forward to, right? Please welcome Denise Wild, Frank Ferragini. <laughs> So, okay, about. first of all, how were the holidays? Were they awesome? Wonderful. Amazing. Yeah. I did yeah. nothing. It was yeah, great. Me too. I needed that. Yeah. Total slothdom. And yeah. I think that's what happens over the holidays. We all eat a lot, we drink a lot, mm -hmm. we have fun, we hang out with our family, we doze, we nap, and then January comes yeah. around. <laughs> and we're all like, oh my gosh, I have to be fit and sexy right. and I'm um, financially soluble. Right. And I have right. to like I a solvent. I have to have all these things happening. Yeah. I called the fuglies. The fugglies, right? Yeah, you're That's feeling fuggly. It's, yeah. it's really tough. So we thought, let's start the show by talking about New Year's resolutions, because this is what we all do. Yeah. Um, and I'll start with you, Denise, because we did put it out to our viewers, but do you do the New Year resolution thing? Well, I do, but yeah. I would say that I'm not very successful with it, because to be honest, every year I kind of have the same three resolutions, eat better, yeah. uh, be on time, yeah. don't speed. But uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. So I guess not crazy speeding, just like fifty in a forty zone, right? right? Exactly. Maybe yeah. a little bit. So it's probably bad because I you know, every year I end up doing the same thing, so yeah. I'm not really a good one to ask. People are on the fence about it. And you know, when we talked about this segment, we thought, okay, let's just do New Year's resolution fails. And then mm -hmm. we put it out there to our viewers and they were all wins. So, mm -hmm. oh, which is kind of positive. This is what we got uh, on Twitter. We got this from Dolly. Love New Year's resolutions. I start with a list of goals I'd like to accomplish. I select three major realistic ones. Mm -hmm. The rest are a bonus. Well, how do you feel about that, Frankie? You know, I set a goals list every year. So yeah. that's what I do every year. And I look at last year's goals list. And I make sure that they're fairly achievable. And then that kind of puts out there what I would wish to achieve in a year. Yeah. I think it's a great way because uh, sometimes resolutions really put a lot of pressure on you. Mm -hmm. But if it's a goal where you say, this is where I want to reach to, yeah. you can achieve it. And I believe in po positive thought that yeah. if you yeah. think something and you put it out there in the universe, you can achieve it. Yeah. You know what's cool about what you said? You write your goals I down. Do. Mm -hmm. And then you have a comparison from 2015 to 2014 mm -hmm. to 2016. You can see what was accomplished. I actually believe that that works. It does. You the know, goals I, work. And now you can put it in a Google Doc so you don't have to go look for that list. Yeah, you can actually you can find it. You can actually go right to your phone yeah. and check into it. And that's what people do. Successful people yeah. do do that. So we got another one uh, from Jane. She says, I don't do a single resolution. <laughs> I do one goal a month, once again oh, with the mm -hmm. goals. Like that. Survive that month, and if it works, keep it up. It's a great mix of everything. And then we got this from Rhonda. I prefer not to put so much emphasis on New Year's resolutions. September is a more natural time for me to make positive changes. Each day gives me the chance to start fresh, make better choices, improve over yesterday. I agree with Rhonda 1,000%. I think there's that, no pressure, right? Yeah, September yeah. I do what I call the soft launch. Yeah, she's like a restaurant so opening. <laughs> it's like a restaurant opening, it's a soft launch. So it's just sort of, okay, Tracy, maybe it. start looking at your diet a little bit. Maybe right. start um, looking at your finances. And then when January comes around hopefully it doesn't feel like you have to change your life you know or if you all fail by December month. you can start start over January 1st yes I meant to do that now right. there you go yeah. right uh, I love the fact that uh, we've got such positivity coming in from our viewers though so tomorrow we're going to help you out because a lot of us did have a hard time this morning. If you go to my Instagram account, uh, <laughs> my daughter was face down on the ground in the carpet. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, wow, this is really hard for everybody. It was sort of like a January metaphor for afterwards. how the whole family was feeling, just face down, planted in the carpet. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow we have a January survival show. Uh, we're going to get you organized. We've got City Line's top tips happening. We've got new ways to organize your workout routine because we know a lot of people want to get fit. We have new ways to take control of your finances because we know you want to get out of debt. And then we're going to help you clear the clutter in your closets and in your makeup bag. It's a whole January 911. We're going to fix your life, okay? You're going to do that in an hour? We're going to do it in an hour. <laughs> wow. This is City Line, baby. We can get it done in an hour.